Hello, uh, everyone. This is Mayor Hartman. Welcome back to my channel. This time we're doing a review on a G.I. Joe classified series for Kondo. I picked up this for Kondo from my local Target. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little story, then we're going to get right into the review. I didn't really go there to really find the G.I. Joe classified series, and I didn't think I was going to find them, but it was three on the pegs. So, I went and bought them. But I just really was going to go there to see... A friend of mine wanted to say, hey, do you want me to go and check and see if they had any Hot Wheels? And I said, oh, okay, I'll go down there and see if they got any Hot Wheels. They didn't really have no Hot Wheels. I wasn't really ready to leave. And I went to the action figure house, and I saw the condo there. I seen it, I seen it, well, the new, to some people, not to everyone, the new um, Snake Eyes figure with the timber. And they had like four of those. So I said, I'm going pick them up. I want to go pick up the, the snake. I really, all I really wanted, the, the, the snake eyes, is really a, a, the timber. And I said, no, I'll just buy the condo figure and I leave. And that's what I did. Got it for, what, 22, 23, and 24, I think. I think it was. I can't remember. And the line went long. So without oh, further ado, this is the G.I. Joe Classified Series. From Tiger Force Way, like you see right here. Or condo, you can't really see that, but there it goes right there. There's the side of the box of all the um they stuff that this how they do it now. He's number fifty-five. Um there's the back back of it. I don't really like the back. A lot of people don't really like the back. I'm one of the people who don't I don't see no action. I want to see the maybe see the figure or something type of type of action on there. But like some of the box arts did change over the time. Like I don't have I, I throw my boxes away. And everything. There I know I do like that side because that side right here is perfect. You know what it reminds me of, guys? And if you're my age or a little older. It reminds me of Apocalypse Now. That's what it reminds me of. Look at that. Got the, the artwork of Wakanda right there with the mustache. Um, the helicopter in the background with the Tiger Force. Remind me of something more like you see like a Vietnam type um, scene, scene right there. Um, we just saw that side. As you notice, he's in, the, he's in the plastic right there. You can see the figures. You see what you get. You can see if you're going to have cross, cross eyes or you're going to miss anything. You can see everything that you, you're getting. So um, I'm going to pause. I'm going to be right back. We're going to open up the Wakanda figure, and we're going to see if Wakanda is cool out of the box that he's in the box. I think I think he's going to be because I've seen a lot of views on him. So I'll be right back, guys. Don't go nowhere. If you do, you don't know what you're going to miss. So I decide you should stay and check it out. Be right back. And everything falls down. Hello guys, I got everything out of the package in this um, package. But before we get into the review, before I show, show off the accessories, I had to put my condo in hot water. The reason why I had to put my condo in hot water, I could not get his knees to move at all. But after I get him in hot water, and we we'll now show that and we we'll get into um into the figure part of the show. So if you get any of these G.I. Joe classifiers or any type of figure at all nowadays, put us, give us some heat. Blow dryer, hot water, put it by the heater for about two seconds. Um, if you live in a warm climate, whatever you got to do, put give it a heating blanket or something. I don't know. It's ridiculous. But we're going to go to accessories. Accessories, it's okay. It's good. You do get the backpack right there. And get away and get the little um, thing for like for like his little camping stuff on top. A, a, a bag, whatever you want to call it. A sleeping bag. It's called a sleeping bag. You do get that. You got a cantina on there. Old school type of cantina for some water or whatever he got in there. Vodka. I don't know what he got in there. Um, you do got some stuff on the sides. Bulk buckles and stuff on the sides. Also on the other side. And you do have the pack. You do also have the don't ask some type of weapon weapon it is, but you got a nice weapon. And you do got I, I'm starting to see this a little lately um, with a lot of the GSO stuff. It look like they don't like act like it's like is that like tape tape on there. You see it's like here, here, and here. I have another figure you also had that too. So you do have that. You do got the um, 
that's not a knife. This um, type of knife right there. You do got the knife, and you get the little small handgun right there. And me personally, out of all the accessories, my favorite part of the accessory is the hat. I really like that hat. I think that hat is cool. I like how um, it's all molded the way it's cut on the side and everything. And I'll show you how the hat look on him at the end of the video. So here's the condo out of the packaging. Right there now, when I talk about my knees, I could like, I would like put a little bit of force to try to bend the knees, I couldn't get them. But as you notice now, I can get them, but it's still a little stiff. It's still a little stiff out of packaging. So I had to warm them up a little bit to get that. And I just emerged this whole body in there to um, get them out of the packaging. There's that ugly mug. Only a mother can love, as you can see. Got the mustache, you got the um, hair molded going to the back. I can just got up and just combed it straight to the back. Um, no washing to there and anything like that, but I wish it did. Maybe a little bit muddy up a little bit. Um, there's the eyes. Love the detail of the shirt. You can put the handgun here. Now this piece right here, is, you can see, it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to indicate of the shirt being out, but it's like a belt. But if you notice, the shirt looks like it's also tucked in. You see how the shirt tucked in? Like supposed to be talking about, but then yeah, it also indicates like the, like the shirt can be out. You do got like a compass on the side on there, on his belt, all the way around, details. And I got my condo all looking all crazy. Um, I believe this watch is a floating piece. There's the watch. Did it move? Is it moving or is it sculpted on there? No, it's sculpted on it. At first I thought it was moving, but it's sculpted. I'm just getting old. Um, you got a place else you can put the big knife. Right there, as you can see, little hole right there. Um, got the tiger stripes all the way down the legs. I do love the boots. I, they got two touch tone type boots. I seen boots like this one time before in Walmart. I really did. So they got the Walmart type boots. I seen where they got the two tone type colors right there on the boots. There at the back of it, show you the peg where you can put the um, backpack. Everything so let's go uh, through a uh, through articulation real quickly. The head can go left and right, you can get a good up and down. You do guys, um, some uh, articulation also in the neck area. You get a lot of, a little good with side to side. You can get the arms to go that far up, that far down. Rotation all the way around. Double elbows do have pinned elbows um, um, arms. Excuse me, you do get a nice moving. Uh, a somewhat of a good air crunch. It's nothing really peeing it too much. This part is not, but that's about far as you're gonna go. But that far back, it's more like old school air crunch to me. Um, you do get a nice waist swivel. Um, you do have the drop down hips. Eh, how I feel about those. Um, you can't get the legs go that far forward, that far backwards, that far out. You like I said, you do have the double knees. Mine is still stiff, and you do have the pinless knees. And you do have um, a lower cast swivel, and you can get the foot to go that far forward, and that far, I mean backwards and forwards, and you do have the two peg holes at the, at the bottom. My peg holes are not really that deep, so I'm going to show you how my Wakanda figure is going to look all geared up, and how he's going to pretty much go on my shelf. Let's see how this backpack fit. Now, I remember when I did my other review, I can't remember what it was on. The backpack didn't really fit that deep. Let's see if this one fits much deeper. Actually, yes, it does. It's going in much deeper. That peg is much further in. You put the backpack on. You probably he's gonna have to. He's gonna probably have to hold this gun. I don't see no storage where I can put the gun. Or else you're gonna do something like this, like that. That's gonna be like kind of stupid. That's the only place I can put the gun. I'm gonna put the hat on. I hope I put it on right. There you go. There you go. Now that's Wakanda. That's we can put the knife right here. Slide right in there like that. And we're gonna put the handgun right here. It's gonna look kind of big. I mean kind of small, excuse me. And as you know, that's only warm them them up. There's the water dripping out. Oh, well, it fits perfectly. And that's like I said, it's a floating piece, so I don't know why I don't I, I really didn't want to put them on the shelf holding the gun. Hmm. Mm 
Mm-hmm. We come to see the day. Oh no. I guess I just had to put it in his hand. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was looking for a bazooka. I couldn't find him. Or Dusty, I couldn't find him. But I found Wakanda, and it's cool. I'm getting my Joes together. Um, there's a lot of new Joes are coming out in the market. So maybe one day we hope we get a, a wild bill. And maybe we also get a... Um, oh, that came off. Um, I, I, heard, I heard we're getting a shit wreck. I heard we're getting a shit wreck. But I want a wild bill. I don't know how y'all other G.I. Joe fans are, but I want a wild bill. So I can get Ah damn it hat. I gotta go and get on the floor and get the hat. What the hell? I got it. That is laser I got his laser a little too gummy. They gotta get a little warm up, um, cool down a little, just a little bit more. And somebody's parking the big truck. Oh, I'm moving the big truck. And I ain't done. Oh, come on, stand for me. At least until we give me turn off the video. Like, I just want to get your hat. Oh, this lady ain't gonna stand for. Put your hat back on your head. And there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed my view. Everybody have a good day. Good night. Thank you for watching. And I'll see y'all again on the next set of view with the Holly Man, whatever it may be on. Or just want to shoot the breeze out, guys. Enjoy your collection. And the Holly Man is out. Thank you. Hello, this is your man, Holly Man. How do the wall look? I'm adding some more cars on there. I even got some more cases on here. I just mixed it up. <clears throat> what I did was pretty much I just try to hook them up pretty much how I think I see cars. I know I see a Mario Kart, but I was watching Instagram one day, so I saw somebody ride a Mario Kart on the street. So, hey, it fits into the scheme of the rest of the cars. I don't know if that picture was real or not, but there it goes. And then, see, I got some bikes together. And so I bought, I bought a couple more cases before the last time y'all see it. And then <clears throat> there's the truck right there. The truck and the Malibu don't really fit. That's why you see them standing up, but they're much longer. So, you know, they're really a little longer than 164 scale. And then I'm putting the red cars over here. I know I got the Camaro there. It's, it's black with the white, but eventually some of those cars are going to move when I get some more cases. And I know, the, I know it's crooked, but that's... <clears throat> I actually put that up with, with just one for it just to see how it's going to look. And then um, what I did was right there, if you see really closely, that's double tape with the Velcro. Then I saw I constantly didn't have to keep on putting the screws. So I just put the one screw. What I do also, I just connect them together and hold them with my hand and then put the screws in. And then as I get the screws in, I get them up and I put the cards up. And then that's those cards right there. And um. I might move this one and pull it over. I don't know. Or I might just leave it crooked. Oh, what the heck? I'm going to leave it crooked. Talk to y'all guys later. Enjoy your hobby. Thank you for watching. And everybody have a good day, good night. And I'll talk to you whatever I want to talk to you with. And shoot the breeze with your guys whenever I get a chance. And thank you for new subscribers. Wow. I'm moving up.